Greetings, a billion dollars of the Mars here. Welcome back to an update vlog. If it looks like I'm tired, it's because I am. I'm like, I feel like the walking dead. <laughs> um, so, last night, me and my wife were about ready to go to bed around 10 something, like we normally do. Um, it was by 11 o'clock by the time I got upstairs. So, I decided to check Marva's temperature and give her more medicine if, if necessary. Marva had a temperature of 102. So, me and my wife came to a consensus that I needed to take her to the ER. She was she was burning hot too to the touch. It almost, it was um it was just she was really hot. So I take her to the ER. They give her they give her a look over and whatnot, and uh, they check her vitals, the whole nine yards. We go over we go over everything that happened. Um, <clears throat> um, we, uh, told them about the the primary doctor diagnosing her with an ear infection and prescribing her antibiotics. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. It won't go away. Um, so, we, me and Cinder have only been giving her 2.5 uh, mLs of Tylenol every four hours. But after the ER visit, um, Basically, we um, for her weight and whatnot and her size, it needs to be 3.5 mLs and alternate between ibuprofen and Tylenol every and give it to her every three hours. So give, uh, give her Tylenol, three hours later give her ibuprofen, three hours later give her Tylenol and alternate like that. Um, they checked her temperature at the ER and it was 103.4. She was burning. Uh, they they came uh, they came in with medicine, ibuprofen and Tylenol, and they gave her both of them, ibuprofen and Tylenol, 3.5 mLs of both. Um. But uh, just and just so you're aware, by by the time we went to the ER, she's already had two doses of uh, the antibiotic. So we're uh, at the ER. Basically, uh, I was told to give her 3.5 mLs of either ibuprofen or Tylenol every every three hours or whatnot. And that the antibiotic will take a couple days to to take effect. Will will take a couple days. So this might be a a weekend long battle with with the fever, trying to keep it down and whatnot. So me and my wife have been religiously giving her medicine every three hours, religiously. Um, she started perking up before she went down for a nap just a little while ago and she she ate she actually ate some food a, l a little bit of her snacks and um she she drank quite a, she she drank so that's good news um she's already she's already had a single dose of the antibiotics today and like two doses so far of no one dose of Tylenol one dose of ibuprofen so far <clears throat> so basically uh, before the ER visit the doctor basically uh, her primary doctor basically said 
um, it's not it's not very wise to go out and do anything um, for for the next ten days with with Marva, with her being sick like that. So we we were gonna plan on going to a memorial service this weekend for one of um, Cinder's relatives, but we can't, unfortunately we can't go. <sighs> So, this is going to be a weekend-long battle. Hopefully, Monday she'll start feeling better and getting her appetite back and start drinking a lot more and a whole bunch of other things. But this is the first time she got really sick. And it's, it's never easy when your little one gets sick because, oh, it's just awful. It, I, I, I'm telling you, it's stressing me out. <laughs> um, after she was uh, uh, in the ER, after she was giving both doses of ibuprofen and Tylenol at the same time, um, her fe her fever went um, went down to a hundred. And basically, we were told a hundred's okay, a hundred one is okay. Don't um, try to keep it down below that. Don't go above a hundred and two. I mean, a hundred and one. Don't go above a hundred and one. So, we uh, we've been fighting, keeping the fever down, while the uh, get, trying to give the antibiotics time to work. But it's just a miserable process. She want, she just wants to be held all the time right now. She just, she just, is very clingy, which is natural and whatnot. And, and she she gets very tired, which she's fighting an infection. So, <clears throat> so uh, we we got home. Me and Marva got back home because uh, Cinder had to stay here while her son Henry was sleeping. So me and Marva got home around two thirty, and by the time everything was said and done, it was like three a.m. By the time we 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 got to go to sleep. <coughs> I'm tired. <sighs> um, I had to basically take the whole day off from work. Um, number one, because I didn't get any sleep. Number two, I'm helping take care of a sick baby. I had to go to Walmart this morning, drop off a, um, a couple of prescriptions, um, because the ER actually prescribed her ibuprofen and Tylenol. And, um, so I went and turned them in. I, I got them from the pharmacy, brought them home, gave her a dose of ibuprofen, and put her down for, um, a nap. <sighs> I have a cough that won't go away. It's back. I swear to God, it keeps haunting me. This cough keeps coming back like yearly, I, th I think, or something. I don't know. It's like a dry cough. Nothing. Mm. Nothing comes up when I cough. It's just like a dry cough, like a tickle in my throat. And then eventually little bits and pieces of stuff come out. It's really frustrating. I want the cough to go away. <clears throat> very, very frustrating. <sighs> my my wife is is going to be making stuffed shells for, and we were going to take it with us to the memorial service Sunday, but. 
She's going to have to give it to a relative to take to take to the memorial service. Because we can't go now. Absolutely not. We cannot go for the safety and health of our daughter. We have to keep her home, give her plenty of rest, keep giving her meds religiously, keep that try to keep that fever down, and hopefully hopefully the antibiotics will will uh, start to do their job pretty quick. Um, like the ER told me last night, though, it might take a couple of days for it to start to do any any good. So. You, they did warn me that we might be fighting this fever all weekend. All weekend. <clears throat> we're, we're supposed to give her the antibiotic for 10 days and pro about 30 doses worth. Um, we're supposed to give her one, one dose every eight hours. Realistically, though, we can only do it twice a day. Because we're just not awake for the third dose. I'm sorry for the yawn. I'm like I said, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> um, <coughs> me and Cinder have some chores we need to take care of. I'm really just done. I need to sit because I also have to stay on the floor making the stuffed shells, which I thought I'm going live on Twitch for. I'm going to start that. The Alfredo on that. So I'm going to go sit in the front room. Say hi. Oh, hi, people. And then to relax and try to calm down my lower back and then hopefully at that point you can get busy and I can try to help you out there <coughs> and then about two it'll be time for her to come down because it'll be time for her next dose of medication and then four for antibiotics is when I start um Alfredo <coughs> chicken and everything else <coughs> wait what four Four is her next dose of antibiotics. What do you mean? I thought it was every eight hours you gave it to her to eat. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get up until 7.30. I came down and then I realized, oh shit, I forgot her antibiotics. Oh, which means you're going to be I'm going to be up till midnight, which means you have kids in the morning. I don't know what you're talking about. Get over here. <laughs> you have kids in the morning. I planned on staying up with you. Well, once the kids go down for bed after dinner about 6, which 5 is for a dose. Okay, so 2 is Tylenol. So 5 is ibuprofen. About 7.30 to 8, she'll have Tylenol and go to bed. For the next two hours, I plan on DVD, switching to Elder Girls <coughs> Online, and that to do like 10 and then until midnight, and then at midnight, take the antibiotic up, wake her up for that, make sure she has a diaper change. What are you talking about? We're playing Elder Girls Online after they go down for bed. No DVD first, because it's easier to put off on DVD after two hours. So I want to play both. I want to play Elder Girls with you. I'm going to be up till midnight with you. My love, you're not listening. They go down to bed seven thirty with her having her dose of medication to fall asleep, okay? Okay. We start Sorry guys, um I, I if you noticed a cut right there it's because um I was talking with Cinder. Um I didn't want to put it in the in the vlog and whatnot, so um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it anyway, so if you, um, I'll catch y'all later, okay? Bye.